Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to this pre-event webinar for the Nordic Marketplace 2020. Uh, we'll just give it a few seconds for uh, people joining it exactly at three o'clock. Um, I see a few of you flooding in now. Um, just to let you know of the way things work, there's a QA and a um, tab available on your interface there. So if you have any questions throughout the webinar, uh, please submit them there. Uh, we'll either answer them if there's a relevant spot during the webinar, or we'll get to that during the end where we'll have a, a, a QA and a um, session. Um, so uh, please submit any questions you have uh, there. Um, so there's a very good number of you here. There's 40 of you in the room. So uh, just to introduce myself, I am Aaron Wiltshire, Head of Event Strategy here at ETOA. And my name is Sophie Jensen. I'm, um, I'm a TOA's Head of Operations and Destination Engagement. So uh, we'll run through a few things very practically. Uh, that's what Sophie and I are here for. Um, but just to start with, we'll hand over to Andy and Paul, who will do you an introduction of who they are and uh, what the event is all about. Hi there. Um, my name is uh, Paul Wagner from Nordic Tourism Collective, and we're absolutely delighted to welcome you all to uh, the webinar for the Nordic Marketplace, which will be our first Nordic Tourism Collective event. So welcome you all from all around the Nordics, from uh, Greenland to Lithuania, to the Baltic states, and to all the buyers globally as well. And we're really looking forward to seeing you all in Copenhagen to our first event and hopefully the first of many events on the Nordic Tourism Collective calendar. And look forward to seeing you there. Pass you over to Andy. Yeah, hi, my name's Andy. Um, I'd like to echo Paul's comments. Thanks everyone for attending this webinar. Um, we're really pleased actually that so many people have decided to register for what is our first event and so much so that the Nordic marketplace is now completely full, which is fantastic. Just to remind everyone, the focus of the event is to foster year-round tourism to the Nordic region. So we hope that you all have a successful and productive day and I'll hand you back to Aaron. <laughs> Uh, as I said, we're going to provide some very practical information about the how the event works. Uh, this is the first edition of this event, so it may actually be the first time at um, one of these workshops in this particular format uh, for a number of you. Um, so just to go through the, the running order, uh, the, we'll actually uh, kick off the whole event on Monday the 24th at the NIM Bar, which is within uh, the NIM Hotel, which is on the periphery of the uh, Tivoli Gardens. Uh, we'll be, it'll be kind of a nice introduction to your um, colleagues and also to the, the team uh, running the event. Um, so that'll be an informal uh, drinks reception. We'll have some presentations there, but it's a, a kind of light start before the, uh, the, the work starts on the Tuesday. And if you're staying at the uh, Scanic Falconer, then we'll be providing a transfer uh, there. So um, just we'll send some more information about that just prior to the event so you know where to be and where to meet us or where to pick up the um, uh, transfer. So the uh, workshop itself takes at place at the uh, Scandic Falconer Copenhagen on the 25th of February, which is the Tuesday. Uh, registration and a welcome refreshment starts at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, next to the main workshop room, which is on the first floor of the hotel. So it'll be very clearly signposted either from, from the lobby or um, I think you can access it directly from the list if you're staying at the hotel. Uh, a note on which uh, if you are a supplier and uh, still haven't booked your accommodation, if you go to the event website um, via the ATOA website, there is a link there to book with uh, favourable rates. Um, if you're a buyer, um, you should already have your um, should know where you're staying, uh, but there's hosted rooms there for operators on the Monday night, so the night before. Um, so as we said, uh, your registration starts at 8 in the morning. If you are a supplier, you'll be picking up your pack from the registration desk. If you're a buyer, your pack will be available on your table. Uh, you will we'll have a list of where you're sat, but um, you'll, you should know which table number you are by that point. Uh, and your pack and everything, your badge, etc., will be on uh, the table uh, when you arrive. Um, so we'll have a, a quick in introductory briefing. Um, about how the workshop work, which will just kind of reiterate what we're discussing here, as well as the uh, concept and the ideas behind the event itself. So we'll kick that off at quarter to nine, at, but the appointments themselves will start at 9 a.m. sharp. Um, once nine o'clock 
hits, there's no stopping it, the clock rolls, uh, we can't do anything about that, so please make sure you're there on time. Um, but throughout the day, actually, as well as your pre-assigned appointments, uh, we'll have various national and regional tourist boards will be doing presentations uh, throughout the day about uh, their current work as destinations, particularly on the theme of sustainability. And then uh, just before lunch, there'll be a, a special um, presentation by by design uh, about sustainability uh, within the travel industry. Uh, and then we'll treat you to lunch just after that, which will be down in the restaurant uh, at the venue. Um, so then we'll kick off the afternoon at about 10 past one uh, for the afternoon's worth of uh, appointments. We'll have coffee breaks and then we'll close at just after half past four uh, with a drinks reception. So there are 26 scheduled meetings through the day. Uh, and we'll talk about the appointment system in a minute, which um, should have just launched. So if you're online with us now, uh, you can also check your inbox because you should have just been invited to the uh, appointment management system called Celestina. Um, so in just a minute, we'll walk you through it. Um, but um, if you're prepared with your login, you can we can do that all at the same time. So they will be 26 uh, slots throughout the day. The appointments will be based on your preferences as well as your counterparts. So uh, we're talking right now to both buyers and suppliers in this webinar. You'll have equal choice um, about selecting and most importantly ranking the people that you want to meet with uh, during the day. Um, but we'll show that in real life in a second. Um, so filters will be available at this event. Uh, the buyers, so if you're there as a tour operator or intermediary or wholesaler, you'll be seated. If you're there to uh, sell your hotel, your services, uh, your tourism product, you'll be walking the room. Um, thankfully, at this one, you won't have to walk far. It's a, it's a, a nice compact venue, so uh, there won't be traipsing around uh, a giant floor at, at this particular event. So um, unfortunately, you are walking, but it won't be too far. Um, once we have run the appointment system, so you'll be um, invited today, as I've just mentioned, you'll have two weeks to uh, visit the system, submit and rank your preferences. We'll then close uh, the appointment system, after which time, um, a few days, you'll be issued provisional appointments. So these will differ, perhaps 99%, they'll be the same. There may be some slight changes to the eventual appointments you have on the day, um, but these will allow you to prepare your meetings. So as I said, they, they, we strive that there won't be too much change, but you'll be issued with provisional appointments, which will allow you to kind of do a bit more further research on those you've been paired with uh, and prepare exactly your 12 minute um, interaction because um, it's a, a jam packed day. So uh, you'll have to kind of to make most of it your um, best prepare, which Sophie will talk about in just a minute. So I'll hand her over now to her and she'll describe about, about who you're going to be meeting with, who your colleagues are uh, on the day and some kind of more practical information about the appointment system. Good. Thank you, Aaron. Um, yes. First, before I will before I tell you a little bit about the attendee profile, and a few suggestions for the day. First of all, I'd like to say thank you very much to our sponsors. So thank you very much to Boss Destination Management and to Trustly. And also thank you very much to our hosts, uh, Tivoli and Scandic. Um, we're very much looking forward to the event uh, with you. Also, thank you very much for all of the support, for all of the support to our DMO partners um, from Denmark, from Norway, from Iceland, from Greenland, from the Faroe Islands, from Finland, Estonia, and Latvia. So very um, well supported. Thank you very much. Um, also, a special thank you to all of our hosted buyers attending all the way from um, the United States and from China. Thank you very much for coming all the way for this event. This is um, very valuable to us and also to many of the suppliers, I'm sure. A little bit about the attendee profile. So. The suppliers we have um, in the room, we're going to have in the room, they are actually um, uh, represented by the, all of the regions in, in the Nordics and in Baltics. So um, top four are Norway, Denmark, Sweden and, um, and Finland. Um, but all of the other regions are also very well presented, uh, including the Baltics as well. The types of suppliers we will have in the room they are, again, from various different um, product types. Uh, we have our top four uh, accommodation services, visitor attractions, transport services, and ground handlers, DMCs, and uh, local operators. Our buyers we have in the room, so everyone who will be sitting down, as Aaron, he describes. 
um, they are mainly tour operators and wholesalers, so B2B wholesalers. Um, they, they manage various different um, types of clients, but mainly groups and FITs. So, so that also fits very well with what um, suppliers are, are looking for. So hopefully that's going to be matched very well. Um, buyers, they are representing um, or, uh, sources from, from the entire world. So we actually, as, as I mentioned before, we have people traveling all the way from the United States and from China. Um, and we also have it from various other parts of Asia. Uh, we have also good representation from the rest of Europe. Um, so that's looking very well. Yeah, I think on that particular note, we've, uh, it's been a very popular event on the buyer side. So we've actually created this very carefully. We had a, a large waiting list on the buyer side. So bit by bit, we've managed to um, represent carefully the um, the markets sought by the supplier side. So uh, as the uh, that co cohort has grown, we've tried to match that with the the relevant buyers on that side. We're kind of grateful to our partners at the European Travel Commission. Um, to help us with these hosted buyers from both the, the North America and from China. Yes, definitely, definitely. Um, so other than that, I'm just going to go through a few quick um, to-dos and ideas for the day, suggestions for the day, especially if you haven't um, been at a workshop and a tour workshop before. Um, if you have been at a workshop before, then you would know they are very, very busy, as Aaron, he described as well. They, it is 12-minute meetings. Um, they're going to start from 9 in the morning till 4.30 in the afternoon. Um, so try to prepare very well. Um, no matter if you're a supplier or buyer, try to look through the list and really find out who these companies are so you can prepare this field directly because you only have the 12 minutes. That doesn't mean that that's over. There will be lots of breaks um, and both the, the drinks reception later on and also during the day uh, where you have a bit of time to catch up with the people you meet. Um, if there's, there's going to be someone um, in the room that you haven't actually had a fixed appointment with, that, but you, you might have requested to meet them um, when you are when you are, are requesting your um, your meetings, then don't worry. Like they will be in the room. So if you're a supplier and you're looking for a buyer, then you'll be able to see on the other side of your appointment list there'll be a whole list of all the table names, all the table numbers, and which companies uh, will be sitting in various tables. And if you have any any questions or would like to meet someone particularly, um, the whole ITOA and NTC team will be in the room and will help you um, if you if you would like to meet someone. As um, as Erin mentioned as well, there is um, there's going to be the setup of the room is going to be so the buyers are going to be seated and the suppliers are going to be standing. So a little note to suppliers then. It's just it's recommendable that you are not carrying too many too much material with you, um, just just because it's going to be a bit of a, a mess to walk around with. Um, but obviously you have plenty of time to send it afterwards, and obviously it's completely up to you. If you would like to bring something, absolutely fine. Um, you also might want to bring uh, comfortable shoes. <laughs> obviously the room is not as big as some of our other events, but um, but still. Yeah, the key to these events, whether you're not you're matched or whether you, 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 don't, you don't get a match with uh, someone you're looking to meet with, is the follow-up. Uh, so we'll be producing a an online directory. So we won't kind of following our advice, we won't be um, giving you a printed directory. This will be available in a digital copy. It's all about the follow-up. So whether or not you have a match, you'll have access to the details of everybody there. Um, the business starts after the event, really. The, the 12 minutes provides the introduction or a catch up with maybe existing uh, business relationships. But um, it's all about the follow up. Uh, and just yet to reiterate, we will have a printed directory, we'll have a digital one. Yeah, um, I think that is about it from my side. Um, so as as Aaron said, we will start the we we'll start the first meeting at nine. But please do come before that. We will have refreshments from eight in the morning. So come and grab a cup of coffee and a snack. Um, and get yourself ready and have a look at the room so you can see where you're gonna where you're gonna go first. Get all ready for nine because then it's uh, ready set go. Uh, it's it's like the events are really are really full on. They're really busy, but they're gonna be really they're gonna be really fun. And you're gonna get a lot out, out of it if you're prepared. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so that takes us on to the demonstration of the appointment system. I just aptly had a question about. Um, the deadlines for this system. So if you bear with me two seconds, I will start sharing uh, a screen 
of the portal that you should now all have access to. Um, so we sent this out uh, about 15 minutes ago. So um, if their emailing system is working, you should have that if you're a primary delegate. So this is also important to remember. Only primary delegates are getting their own list of appointments. If you have a secondary, then you'll be sharing that one list and also your preferences. So um, only the primary delegate will have been sent uh, the access to the appointment system, uh, and which the link to which should be taking you to the page that you see right now. Uh, and then you can use your um, confirmation number to then log in to Celestina, who, which is a computer system, not a person. Uh, so to answer uh, Chris's question, uh, the deadline to make choices is Friday the 7th of February. Um, the appointment will system, it's not on a first come first serve basis, so uh, there's no kind of rush to do it right now. We'd appreciate it if you could, I mean, that would be great. Um, uh, we're uh, at capacity, so there'll be little to zero changes of everybody who's in the system. Um, so, I mean, if you can do it today or this week, that's great, but you'll actually have until a week on Friday to submit those choices. You can always go in first and and have a look at it yep. and uh, yeah and then you can come back later and change it and change the preferences um, talk to your colleagues who will be um, who should be in yep. top, top. Yeah five. until the very final day uh, there's no cut off and it doesn't impact how the system works. Um, so as you can see we've provided a lot of information on here um, but please do use the Q&A function uh, if you have any specific questions that we haven't highlighted on here, because sometimes the do's and don'ts and how to use the filters uh, kind of takes a while to get your head around just how to do it. So rather than uh, read out the, um, the instructions, I will just show you. So we have been given access uh, from a supplier point of view. I think most of you in, uh, or the majority of you are from the supplier side within this webinar. And so this will be the view that you have with the list of um, tour operators there. So if you know who you want to meet already, you can either find them on the list or search by company and then add them across. But we have already done the kind of level of um, matching or filtering for you. And you can apply that already at this stage. So for instance, to look at filter one, um, these are, by the way, the filters work independently. So filter one works on its own, but it doesn't work in conjunction with filter two, they, they, they run separately. So anyway, if you are a supplier, then you can click here and see um, the types of products that the operators um, that you are, are gonna be present they work with. So I'm going to use a, a, quite a generic one right now, which is culture. Uh, and if you apply that filter, then the list shrinks down here. Um, and then you can find those ones who fit that category. Culture is actually represented by 95% of so all the list won't so. have uh, shrunk too much. Uh, likewise, if you want to uh, slim the list down just to their source markets, uh, then we can do that. So we have try and find our Chinese operators. This will filter it down and you can see uh, specifically um, those who are from China or the ones who also just have um, distribution in China as well. So that's a mixture. It doesn't necessarily mean they're from China. They're in that list as well. Uh, but it, um, depending on their business type, um, they may be included in that list as well. So that's... Um, how that's done from the perspective of the suppliers. Uh, if you're a buyer attending this webinar, you'll have a list of the um, types on here, which will be um, the are they a hotelier, are they a DMC, da, 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 and then the region will be uh, where the product is. Um, so that will be uh, where, where, where that business is based. And likewise, if they're um, kind of transnational setup, people will appear on multiple lists as well. Filter two, on the other hand, is um, already based on the preferences of those uh, of your counterparts. So say, for instance, um, you are a hotel. Again, I'm picking a, one of the most generic ones. I think it's 90, oh no, 62%. So not, not everybody is interested in hotel contracting. Um, if you're a hotelier and only want to meet those people who you think who want to meet you, you can already apply that uh, filter and shrink the list down to those only who are uh, attending with an interest to meet hoteliers. Uh, and likewise, if you're a hotelier in 
Denmark, uh, and you want to meet operators who want to find you, <laughs> CRCS, sometimes it's hard to get your head around it, that shrinks the list down. So now on this list are the operators who, um, if you are a Danish hotelier, they want to, to meet with you. So one of the most important things about the system is that once you've decided on the operators to you like the look of based on your either experience or their profile on here, you can click view and then it gives that kind of brief outline as to their business and their, their link. If they are ones the one, one of the ones you want to meet, then you add them to the list and they go over to the right hand side. So I'll just add a few now. Um, as you can see, uh, they're all on there. And actually, this system is available even after the event. So if you um, need to jog your memory of what happened, uh, <laughs> then you can always log back in until next year's edition. So I've added four. The most important thing to take away from this um, webinar is that you need to rank them. So now they're on the preference side, you need to make sure they're in order of preference from one, your top preference, um, down uh, to 13. So you have 13 options um, uh, from your preferences. But the amount of times that we've seen these submitted in alphabetical order is crazy. Uh, we need to make sure that you have thought about who you want and who are the most important ones, because that's how then we assign the meetings based on everyone's top priorities down. Um, so please, please, please make sure that your top priority is put to the top of the list. Uh, and then you can go up to your top 13 choices and then click Submit. If you have any questions during this, you can see that there's uh, the telephone number down here. There's a team on standby who deal completely, only exclusively with the appointment system. So they will be on hand to answer any questions about how it works. Um, we can maybe give you some advice as well as to uh, best options at this time, but um, I'm sure you know better than anybody who, who your kind of top prospects are. Um, it remains open whether or not you've submitted your choices, as I said, until Friday. Um, you have 13 choices, as you can see, as do your counterparts. So we give equal weighting uh, to both the operators um, and the suppliers, uh, which add up then to the 26 um, options that you'll get. So that's not an exact science, it's just how we do it on a, on a kind of fair basis um, with the appointment system. So I'm not going to go and uh, do 13 choices. Um, I'll just do um, the four there with a kind of a vague uh, semblance of uh, priority there. Um, this is completely made up. Don't take any preferences as an opinion <laughs> from my side at all. Um, uh, once they're there, you'll receive uh, a notification that they've been done. Also, just one note, uh, if you're looking at it now, we are, we will be on the list right now. So this profile we're looking at now, test supplier, do not select, um, please do not select <laughs> uh, select us. It, it, it will be removed after this. Very shortly. Um, but but yeah. I was expi explicitly told to, to just um, <laughs> Let you let you know just uh, just in case we're going to screw up the system a bit if you select. We'll be there, but we won't take yeah. up any of your time during the day uh, <laughs> for meetings. Okay, so um, as I've said, if any of you have any specific questions, please now use the Q and A session. We'll keep the uh, shared screen open so we can demonstrate any of the questions. Um, in terms of practical details, that's it from us. So really, it's now over to you in terms of questions um, from the from the floor. Um, so I can see there's about 50 of you here, which is fantastic. I think um, that's probably a record for a pre-departure one. There will be a recording <laughs> of this available um, within a few hours. We'll send that out via link, whether or not that you attended live or if you'll need it to um, look back on. Uh, but please now use the Q&A uh, tab if you have anything to ask. But we'll leave it a few seconds, just in case any of you are typing away. Um, so yeah, just one note about the system we're looking at now. Are you still in the chat? So, yes, yes, yep. Good. Um, so if you you go in here and then you click you want to submit, you can still like you can still amend it afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, so you can submit it and come and then go back and log in again and amend it all the way until the seventh of February. Um, so I've got a few questions here, which is great. Uh, can I see the name and title of the buyer representatives? Uh, no, not during the system because it's done on a company basis. Um, I, do, I think there are zero duplicate companies here in terms of multiple tables. 
So you'll be meeting the representative best um, put forward by that company uh, to attend the show. I mean, if you have a particular interest in one of the companies, uh, do get in touch and we can tell you who's attending. But at this stage, it's on a company basis. Um, uh, and, and that's sort of kind of how, how you make your selections. Um, the presentations on the tourist boards, actually, I don't know if I want to hand over um, to Paul and Andy for that. Um, if you give me two seconds, I will swap the cameras over. Which tourist boards will be doing the presentations throughout the day? <laughs> We're there you are, you are live. Um, about the tourist boards, uh, we, we have presentations from Visit Denmark, from Visit Norway, from Visit Iceland and, and Faroe Islands, we have from Visit Finland, we have from uh, Estonia and we have from Latvia. Oh, I've forgotten anybody else. Yeah. So we really look forward to having them. It's going to be very much based on the kind of all year round destination sustainability concept. Uh, we'll be very short and sharp but um, I think very interesting to see what an amazing range of, uh, of destinations and what they're doing to promote the different countries and the different sustainability outlooks for the future. So I think you'll find it very interesting. Thank you. Switch back to us. We've had a, another question in uh, about the operators attending. Um, there is a capacity of 60 operators. Um, we, um, as I said, the, the bars are seated, so they'll be there. Um, I think bar maybe one or two, they're all currently in the appointment system. I think we're just waiting for confirmation of the last few. Um, so the ones you see there now, um, as I said, we're quite lucky with this event. It's all ready for the launch of the uh, appointment system. So everybody you can see as a supplier and vice versa, are the people who are going to be uh, there at the, at the event. Um, so the, the, as I said, we've created the operators attending really based on um, uh, the, the preferences of the suppliers there, and we really hope, given your preferences and your counterparts' preferences, we'll be able to put together a really good uh, agenda for you. You will also be able to see the list of attendees on our website, which, yep. is, going to be, which is updated about every week, every two weeks. Um, so if you go on the actual websites, um, of, of the actual, actual events website, you'll be able to see an attendees tab um, where you can always see an up-to-date thing. Right now, it's actually it's up-to-date since the... 14th of January, so there will be a few more um, added to that list. But in the appointment system now, that's everybody um, that you can meet. Don't worry if you can't see yourself on that point as well, because uh, you can only see your counterparts. So um, if you're strictly selling, you're not going to be able to see any other sellers on there. We do, do this in a very binary fashion. Um, so don't panic if you can't find yourself in the system. If you're in the system, you're in the system. It's just you can't, uh, you'll only be seen by people who want to meet with you. Uh, in terms of the coronavirus, we've got no um, issues or plans um, uh, to ch change the nature of the event or uh, any news about any, anyone dropping out. Um, so at this moment, it uh, has had no effect on the um, event at all. Okay, so we're just coming up to about half an hour into that. So last moments to submit any more questions. Um, as I said, there's a telephone number on the appointment system just there. So if you Having any technical difficulties um, uh, or any particular questions again about the format of the event, please just drop us a line. That's what we're here for. Uh, if you don't uh, submit your request this week, we will start calling you by mid, by well, early to mid next week. Uh, we'll start chasing because these, it really, the success of this really does depend on the submission of your preferences. Okay, so I think that's about it. Um, just give you a last few moments to select or submit any questions. Hopefully you've all received your um, invitation to access the appointment system. If not, let us know. Okay, there seems to be no more questions. So uh, we'll all be there uh, and we'll see you in Copenhagen in a few weeks time. We'll see you there. Bye-bye.